let's try it. Mm. That's actually not bad at all. It's a rich, simple flavor it has. All right, I'm finally at the Hikoni village. And it's honestly like, it's a beautiful to be here. I feel like a part of nature when I'm like walking here and seeing the houses. Good morning. I'm on my Ooh. fifth day here in my adventure. Not in Taiwan, what am I talking about? I've been here for like almost three weeks now. But today I'm in Chia I. I hope I pronounced it right. I'm in the Chia I city. It's still so hot here, like I don't want to walk out now, but I have to check out from my apartment like early. I have to check out around like 11 a.m. So I just don't have another choice. I can't really go to that mountain. I really wanted to, but it's like, it's too far away from here. So I'm just gonna try some awesome things here in the city. So actually I saw that there's a gym here nearby that I really want to go to because I haven't worked out for like a week now. I know that I'm gonna try some traditional Taiwanese food here. Let's see what the name is again. It's something with fish. It's called Smart Fish. And it's like a popular traditional restaurant here. And some of the dishes that I should order is fish head casserole. That sounds uh, pretty nice. I don't really like eating fish outside of like sushi. Sorry, sorry to you guys, but I'm gonna try it. And I'm also gonna try the uh, turkey rice. That sounds a bit better to me, a bit more like work out healthy wise. Then I'm gonna, you know, go around today and just have fun and see some awesome things and also work out. So uh, let's go to the smart fish. I guess we're here now. There are actually a lot of people here. What's going on? So a thing that I noticed while I was walking to this place, usually like I have to look like every microsecond after like scooters because I would just like, there's so many scooters here. What's going on? So because this place is so full, we need to get like a number. I got 68 and it's 46 now. So I have to wait like around 15 minutes to get in there. So I have to practice my uh, ordering skills. I want to order turkey rice. I'm probably going to say like Bo Shang Mei Bo Ji Fan. I think it's something like that. It's kind of hard, but uh, <laughs> Bo Shang Mei and then Bo Ji Fan. Something, yeah. Okay, that was an awkward experience because I wanted to film me ordering, uh, but they were just like, come here and what, what do you want? <laughs> I was just like, I want the booty uh, fun, but they were just like, what? Like something, you have to order some more, and I was just like, okay. It didn't really like make sense to me, but uh, yeah, I really wanted to film that, but it was too complicated. <laughs> because nope. I didn't really like understand too much of what they were saying, but. They gave me a table now, I have table 70 and I hope that I will get the uh, turkey rice and they also got me to order the casserole fish, I think. I have no idea. I hope it's uh, something good. It's one of their like specialties, so it should be good, right? All right, I finally got the turkey rice. If I can remember to how to pronounce this, the Oji Fan. This town and county is best known for their delicious turkey rice. You guys probably know it. It's rice dressed with shredded turkey. And there should also be some savory sauce in here. So it actually sounds pretty delicious. It sounds also pretty healthy. And I just can't wait to try it. So uh, let's do it. My first turkey rice. I usually don't eat turkey. Like we don't eat that in Denmark. So it's gonna be uh, quite interesting to taste. And I should mix the sauce around. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to use my chopsticks first. See if I can pick some turkey up the rice. Got a little bit of turkey there. Okay, let's try it. Mm. That's actually not bad at all. It's a rich, simple flavor it has. Mm. Maybe I'm just like too Danish, too much from the Western world, but this dish would be banger if I had some like chili and garlic, it would be so good. It's actually a pretty good like bodybuilding meal and it also tastes good. I don't know like how much oil they've used to, like, to cook the turkey, but it should be pretty low calorie, I hope. Here I got the uh, fish head casserole. I'm not really interested in eating this. It, it is probably the most famous. I don't know, maybe the turkey rice is a bit more like well known. But yeah, it's a, it is stated as a flavorful soup with fish head, tofu, cabbage, and other ingredients. 
I'm not a fish guy any wells. But let's try it. Like to be honest, I don't really want to taste this. This doesn't really look that appetizing. I should probably combine that with some soup and some tofu. Alright. It's not bad. But I would probably rate the uh, turkey rice a lot higher, but that's just because I'm not a fish person. Wait, let me taste the tofu real quick. Mm. The tofu and the fish head combination is really good, but honestly guys, it's nope. just not for me. Alrighty, I really like the uh, Ho Chi Fan, but the other one was just not for me. And I think that's uh, individual. It was actually pretty cheap in there. I was kind of shocked because I only had to pay 140 Taiwanese dollars for two big meals. It's around 30 Danish crowns. And you, like in Denmark, you can't get a lot for only 30 crowns. We usually pay around like 100 to 200 Danish crowns for like one big meal. So uh, I'm actually saving a lot of money here besides paying for the hotels because they're kind of expensive. But yeah, like just too hot right now. So I'm just gonna go at the gym, gonna work out and then I'm gonna visit some of the must-see attractions here. All right, here we are. The second world gym I'm gonna be at. So uh, let's go in there and work out. All right, it was super awesome training at World Gym. Honestly, I think like World Gym is generally like one of my favorite like fitness like places I've been to because they just have everything and I feel the machines are also pretty good and there are like there's space for everybody, especially like at this gym I just was at. So yeah, that was pretty good. Got a good pub. But now I'm going to the Hinoki Village. That was my number two, or like top two thing to do here because my top one was to visit the mountain to visit the Alishan National like area but I can't because it's too far away so I'm going to the Hinoki village now and I'm pretty excited for that I'm just now like pretty tired of walking so I thought like okay Anson you can just take an uber to the place but apparently there are like no ubers available here what's going on with that so I have to walk like 25 minutes to the place and then I have to oh my god and I think I've already walked like only 5,000 steps when I'm walking here I always think that I'm like a backpacker tour or like a uh, military tour because like I have my computer and my backpack I have some other like electronics in my backpack so I think like my bag weighs around like 10 kilograms pretty annoying to walk with when i'm walking like over 10,000 steps a day all right i'm finally at the hikoni village i was pretty curious like why is this place called the hikoni village and that's because Hikoni is also a word in Japanese that means cypress trees. So in the Japanese colonial era in Taiwan, they used the cypress trees as material to build the walls. So that's actually pretty interesting. And something about the like cypress trees, cypress wood, is that they have like a uh, a scent. The wood, the uh, hinoki, is very resistant to bacteria, and it's also very like in general resistant it has a good amount of durability so it's a good like material to use when you're building a house especially like back then i think it's pretty interesting and the uh, houses are beautiful it's like super crazy and i would recommend you guys to come here if you haven't been here because this place is one of the largest collections of Japanese like buildings in Taiwan and it's honestly like so beautiful to be here I feel like a part of nature when I'm like walking here and seeing the houses I just feel blended more into nature here than in general other places all right so I was just in the store and I'm like pretty hungry so I thought like why not try some snacks here so I got the uh, Totoro pancakes and I also got the smoothie i don't know if it's like the totoro smoothie or something like that but it seems pretty good so while i'm eating i'm eating with my bro totoro here i'm gonna eat with my little bro i want to actually taste the uh smoothie first it looks so good it's a strawberry smoothie as you guys can see <laughs> oh that's good mm, that's really good damn I haven't had like a smoothie in ages, so it's finally good to have a smoothie. But let's try the uh, Totoro pancakes. Apparently I can eat this. 
it's also edible so let's try it pretty good let's try the first pancake mm. that's actually really good i have like a dozen of these donuts that i just have to like demolish and i have them all in my mouth at the same time i want to try it They're decent, they're pretty good. All right, I've pulled a bit off now because, oh my God, I'm so tired. So I had to like go into a 7-Eleven and drink something that would give me energy again. But um, I have a meet up here in like 10 minutes. I'm gonna go there and be there a little early and see if there are like some early fans too. But I'm really excited that uh, I'm gonna meet them here. Let's see. I don't think there's gonna be any fans. Yo, what up? What's your name? Jean. Nice to meet you, Jim. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I've been trying to find someone all day to ask like, what do they think about this city? Yeah. And I just found you and oh, I'm yeah, lucky okay. to find you. Okay. Okay, so what do you think about this city? Because I studied here mm -hmm. and uh, the four year, I think the turkey rice is pretty good. It is good. Yeah, it is yeah, good. yeah. And the uh, culture here is very for a long time. Hi. Yeah, so you have many cultural you can see here. I see. Yeah, so yeah. where do you come from? Keelong. Keelong. The oh. northern part of Taiwan. Uh, I see. I was yeah. there for like four days ago. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. like which city would you place highest? Keelong or this city? I think it's this city. This city. Why? Because it's, the food is cheap and right. delicious. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, that makes sense. The food yeah. is so cheap. Like I got yeah. two meals for like 140 uh, Taiwanese dollars. That's so cheap. Yeah. All right, but thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. thank you. I'm so so tired now. I'm just, I'm just gonna go straight to sleep. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.